it's time for another nickel hunt. I've got a box of circulated nickels here. I picked them up and I checked them. I wanted to see if I had uh, new ones or 2024s, but these are circulated. Um, 2024s look to be a low mintage year. So uh, I'm checking for those. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to get into this and see what we find in here. We'll check the albums at the end if, if there's any upgrades or anything. We'll cover that when we get there. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. First roll, we have a find already here. So that's cool. 1942, this one is a Denver. I'll check this for the mint mark, um, D over horizontal D. Nice, but that is our first find. Let's open up roll number two, and I noticed right here, got a 1954, 1954 uh, of Philly. This one is uh, dark covered patina on it that one might have been in the ground for a while before someone dug it up a hey, roll number four just poured it out and right here we have a foreign it looks like a british british one penny how about that this is a 1996 got a british one cent in our nickel roll very cool put that up there and we will keep going see what else we find still on roll number four we got a one that looks older with a mint mark out of Denver. Let's take a look and see. 1955, nice. That is another find in this roll, 1955. Very cool. Number five, we got a very nasty and ugly 1958. This one is definitely uh, seen better days. This is out of Denver. Nice. It still counts as a find, so we'll set it up here, and we'll keep going. It's roll number 10, and I've got another find here. Just open it up and poured it out here, and right here, notice I have a 1940 sticking out there. This one is a Philadelphia. Cool. This is another nickel to go up here. Roll number 11. I've come across the 1940 here. 1940 out of Philly, it's another old nickel. Very cool. Just opened roll number 12, and I got a bonus in the roll. Looks like I got a dime in here. And it is a 1998 dime. I am plus five cents on this hunt. Well, probably even now, because I got a, a one penny, but, uh, you know, that is cool. Fun find, fun finding uh, more than face value in your rolls. Roll 15, and we got a first year Jefferson here. 1938. This one is a Philly. This was a Denver or San Francisco. It would be a key date, but it is not. But it's still first year of the Jefferson series. Roll 16, we got an old one here. It has a Denver mint mark. On the reverse so this one's going to be at least a 1964 so let us take a look and see if that's what this is or not so it's going to be this one on the front here get that out of the way Denver 1959 nice very cool Cool. That is another old nickel there. We'll make some room for it. We'll just take a quick peek and see if there's anything else in here. Sticking out, oh, right here. Got a 1954. 1954 out of San Francisco. Nice. You don't get a whole lot of um, San Francisco nickels. Um, that's all that seems to be standing out. That's a really nasty 70. All right, if I come across anything else in here, I will let you know. Otherwise, we'll be back with another find and another roll.
Roll number 17, and I've got an old one back here. Let's see if it's on camera. No, it's not. Well, it looks older right here. Figured, let's take a look and see what it is. 1958, it looks like. Yeah, 1958 out of Denver. Yeah, there's some gunk on the front of that one. Cool. That's another pre-60s nickel find. Fell on roll 17, and I come across a 1946 back here. This one is a Philly. Nice. That is another fun find there, 1946. Roll 18, I've got a rear face cement mark here. It says a Denver. Let's see what it is. 1954. Nice. Nice, that is another 1954. I think I got three of them now. 19, just opened it up and I think I got an old one. Where is it? Right here. Kind of on the edge there. Right here. Yep, 1940. 1940 out of Denver. Nice. That is another oldie. Roll 20. And I got another one that looks older here. Let's take a look and see if it is. There's no mint mark on the reverse. So we have 1946. Very cool. That is a, another nickel to go up here. Roll 27. And I've got a couple. I just poured it out. And I've got a couple here. This one looks like a 41. And this one might be a 39. It's a little scratched up there. Try to take a good peek at it. I might have some more old ones back here. But let's take a look at these first. 1941 out of Denver. Okay, cool. That is the first one. And this one, it is a 1939. This is really scratched up. Oof, this is really beat up. This is a Philadelphia. You can find the um, really nice double die reverse on this. I'm not seeing it here, but I will double check that under the scope there. All right, let's slide these down. Since we're looking here, I want to take a look. That one is not, but this is the next one I want to look at. Denver, 61. Nope, not quite old enough to make the list. And that is the last one there. Two finds, a 39 and a 41. Nice. Roll number 28. I got a old one with a rear face cement mark here. Well, it looks older. Let's see what year it is. And it is a 1958. 1958 out of Denver. That uh, meets our requirement of being before 60 as a find. Awesome. Roll number 29. And it looks like we have a Canadian here. Yep, that is a Canadian nickel. A 1989. It's our second foreign. First Canadian. Still on roll 29, a few coins back from that Canadian. We have a proof 1992S. You can see how it still has that mirror finish there. It is pretty scratched up, dinged up, and circulated, but that is still a proof. 1992S. Uh, we'll put it over here with the dime. Roll 29 still. Three coins back from that proof, we got a 1957 out of Philly. It's a little old nickel there. There's another older looking one back here. Instead of me cutting and coming back, let's see. 1942, this one's a Philly. No mint mark on the reserve. On the reverse reserve. No mint mark on the reverse of that one. Let's just take a quick peek. Nothing else is standing out, but man, this roll has just been... Given all kinds of goodies. Roll 31, and we got another old nickel here. And a 1939. This one is a Philly. Nice. All right. I'm going to add it up here with the other one. There was one, a couple of nickels back. Let's take a look. Why not? 1957. Nope, I didn't zoom in. 1957 out of Philly. I was looking at this one. This one looked older, but uh, uh, I got to the 37 first. Um, 
doesn't look like I have any other old ones in here, so we'll get going on this and we'll be right back with hopefully some more flies. Roll 45. Just poured it out. I have a 1941 that's sticking out here. There we go, 1941. This one is a Philadelphia. All right, all right. We'll put it up here with the other one. Roll number 37. Just poured it out. Two, two, uh, three coins in from the end here. We have an older looking one. Let's see what we got. 1940. All right. That is another one of those. 41. We have one, maybe two older nickels in here. Um, let's see. Just poured it out. And right here, we have one that has an older look. Yep. And it is a 1948. That is a Philly. And then um, back here in the back, I have a mint mark sticking out. An older looking one. Let's see what it is. Ooh, 1953 out of Denver. Nice. That is two of them in this roll. All right. So that is some more nickels to go up here. And then uh, I'll keep going. I'll let you know if anything else. Oh, hey. That's a really, really dirty one here. Looks like it was in the ground. 1946. Another Philly, it looks like. All right. Well, that is three in this roll. Nice. Roll 42. I've come across another old nickel. This is a 1941. 1941 out of Philly. Nice. It's another one for these stacks. Man, they just keep getting bigger and bigger up here. Roll number 46, and we got a fun find. It's back here a little bit. It's poured it out, and right here, right here, we have a silver war nickel, 1943 with a Philly mint mark. Nice, 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 nice. So it has a little bit of that luster left, a tiny bit of that luster, but you can see the uh, striations from the alloy of the silver and the copper and the nickel not getting mixed up uh, good enough when it was melted to cause those striations. But that is an awesome find. We're running out of room, so we're just going to set it right there. Roll 47. Just uh, started going through this one. Noticed I had a 1959 towards the end here, the front end of the roll. This one is a Denver. There's another find to toss up here. I think that's a 59 right there. Roll number 48. I just poured it out, and I think I got something right here. I think I got a find. Oh, yeah. We have another rear face and mint mark here above the Monticello building. You know what that means. We have a... Another Silver War Nickel. This one is a 1944. Very cool. Two War Nickels. I don't know if I've ever gotten two in one box before. I know I've gotten one before, but have I gotten two? I don't remember. All right, two rolls left. Let's get back to it. Roll over 50, and it looks like we got an old one right here. Um, just poured it out, and let's see, 1953, 1953 out of Denver, nice, that one just had that old look to it, I'll put it up here, there's this one back here, let's take a look, it's got a rear face cement mark, this one could be a 60s though, oh, 58, two old nickels, two finds in this last box so far, um, I have nothing else standing out. Um, we'll, you'll know for, in a second if I'm back with another nickel find or if I'm back with the wrap up. So let me get through these and I'll be right back. So that was a fun box. Um, had a lot of finds, some awesome, some awesome finds and stuff. We'll break it down here. I think this one made up for the last time where I didn't uh, get a lot of finds. Sometimes you get a little bit, sometimes you get a good amount and, uh, some awesome finds as well. We had 14 from the 50s, um, 16 from the 40s, including two war nickels, which are the best finds of the box, in my opinion. And then uh, 239s and 138 there. Had a proof, a Canadian, a Great Britain penny, and a dime in the box as well. 
Um, some really cool stuff going on here. Some really cool finds. Um, yeah, it was a fun box. It seemed like every time I turned around, there was another another old nickel, another thing to, to record, another find. So that, that was fun. Um, I do have some nickels over here that I've stacked up. Uh, I'm going to check those against the album, check check see if I have these spots filled, and uh, see if any of these upgrade. And then we'll go from there. We might be plugging in a couple of, of uh, war nickels. I might have one of these dates already, but uh, yeah. It's pretty cool stuff. We'll be right back with the albums. And here is the first Nickel album, 1938 through 1961. Um, I realize I have not really been showing what we have in here. I've just been showing the coins that I've been adding and updating. So I figured I would take a quick second and show these off before each album's upgrading. And then once we get into the later 50s, I start getting some nice Nickels in there. And here's what we got going on for the first book. I got a 1941 here. It's just in a little bit of a nicer shape. A bit more details in the hair on the face. And I just like it a better uh, better quality nickel. Probably upgrade that one. And then hold out for a nice AU or a low mint state if I can find one. Before I upgrade that again. But we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to upgrade that one there. And then we already had a Philly. 43 and 44. I think I'm not going to upgrade the 43, but the 44, the one I have in there, is pretty slick. It's kind of hard to read the date. And this one here is just a slightly better one. And because it's war nickel, because it's silver, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop that one up a little bit there. And then the last nickel for this book, 1948 out of Philly. I'm going to upgrade this one. Uh, this nickel in here has uh, lots of problems going on with it. And this one's a cleaner, more details, just a better example. Has uh, much less problems with it. So I'm going to upgrade that one for now. And hold out hope that we get a nice one at some point soon. And here is the second book. You can see we still have, we have some coins that really need to be upgraded here. But uh, this is where they start to get in quite nicer shape. Um, in general. Well, let's check to see if we have any upgrades for this book. Second book I had no fills or upgrades for. And here is book number three, 1996 to present. Um, I was trying to hold out to get some, some of these nice nickels on some of these dates, but I am going to start plugging in Nickels, I'm going to try to hold out for some nicer ones as we go along, but I'm going to start actually looking for some slightly circulated ones to go in here um, in between the uh, 2007 and through 2020. I think they get kind of nice after that for the most part. So um, check the nickels I have set aside for this book, and we'll see what we got going on for this one. Book number three. There were no fills or upgrades. And there we have it, wrapping up here. Um, three spots upgraded in the first book, nothing for the other two books. Um, still pretty cool hunt, fun hunt. Two uh, silver silver nickels is always awesome to find, along with all the other stuff is great. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel i very very much appreciate it if anyone is interested in becoming a member feel free to check out the link below again thank you very much for your support